Hi beauties! Today we are unboxing dun, 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 the Diamond and Ice Please NYX Advent Calendar for the year 2020. 2020 doesn't seem like a year that should have an advent calendar or anything that commemorates or celebrates it, but here we are. Basically, if you don't know what this is, NYX for the past like four to five years have been doing advent calendars around Christmas time. Comes with 24 pieces of makeup. Normally what I try and do is actually open each day on the day of like December. So the first I would open up the first one and then the second, the second, and I would use that product that day. Honestly, I'm doing makeup like once to twice a week. So that didn't seem like something that was intelligent to even try and attempt this this year. Um, so in instead I figured I'd unbox it for you guys on the channel. We'll see what we got with it. I'm pretty jazzed about it. This thing uh, is a value of $55. Uh, that's what they sell it at. I paid half price for it during the Black Friday sale. So I got it for $27.50 and I have done like three or four years in the past. And that's pretty much, I always get it around Black Friday because I know they put it on sale pretty much. So. so yes, let's, without further ado, without me talking anymore, let's jump into day number one. Number one. I don't know, I've never unboxed an advent calendar on the channel before, so I'm, I'm not really sure the best way to do it. All right, first thing we have here is a really beautiful red lipstick. Very, it's very um, like holiday vibe, that really nice like classic red look that I think everybody kind of gravitates towards. And this is a matte lipstick and I'm, I, I know I've used one um, similar to that, not that shade, but I think it's like, if it's not that exact, formula. I've used one similar to it from NYX in the past and I like it. So I'm excited about that one. I know this before in years past, they would do um, like just lipstick ones and stuff like that. This one is actually a mix of other products as well. Oh my God. I see, I can't ever get into some of them. My God. Apparently you need like an engineering degree to open this. This is what this one looks like. It's like long and skinny and it's really just given me a, it's given me a, a lot of trouble right now. I try and save the boxes, so that's that's why I'm being so careful. Some people would be like, "Why don't you just rip it?" I'm like, "Well, part look at the packaging. That's part of that's part of why you buy it is to save the packaging." In my opinion, maybe that's just because I'm a hoarder. Oh, cool! All right, so this is a Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Uh, so it's like a liquid highlighter. I'm not really big into liquid highlighters. I just don't like the way they work. But um, I think it could be a really pretty eyeshadow too. Oh yeah, really pretty. That's what it looks like. And then a rub it in. Can you see it? Is it shimmery or does it just look like nothing? Nikki's like, nah, I don't really know. It's pretty, it's very, very light. This actually might be another, like um, the color FX glow drops. I always like to mix them in with my foundation. This actually might be a good one to do that with as well, where you kind of just gives you like an all over glow or sheen to your foundation. Um, but it's a really nice size. I would, I would definitely call that one a full size. Whereas the first lipstick was a little bit like more like a mini or like a value size. All right, moving on to day three. I want to show you guys all the boxes, but I feel like that it's just going to be unnecessary. Okay. So this is the matte lip cream, which I love. I love this formula of their lip stuff and it's in the shade Canes and it looks like a really pretty neutral, like mauve color. Yeah. That's what that bad boy looks like. That's a really pretty like fall color. I think that would work really well with the eye look I've got going on today. Um, for some reason, before I started my eyeshadow, I put on red lipstick and then that didn't wind up working. So I like wiped some of it off, but. All right, that was day three, day four. Aha, day four is an eyeshadow, a really pretty one too. They've done a very nice job of kind of giving you like a nice little mix of each one of them. So this is our eyeshadow that we're working with. It's like a really pretty purpley, uh, like a sugar plum vibe with uh, glitter in it. So really like that one as well. Once again, a good size. Next thing we have, this is interesting. What is this? <gasps> oh, okay, that's cool as shit. Um, so this is a NYX, this is everything lip scrub. It's in the shape of like a, a, a guitar pick and it is like a little, like a lip scrub, but it's a really nice size. It's huge. Oh, and it, it smells like a candle. What candle does this smell like? Come smell this. What is it? What is the scent? It smells very good, but it, it definitely, there's like a candle that my mother had from like Bath and Body Works or something that was from my childhood. And I don't know what it is, but I'm getting like flashback memories, just smelling it. I can like, I can like see us like in our old house. It's crazy. Anyway, love that. That's cool. That's a cool product in there in my opinion. Six, number six. We're a fourth of the way through guys. 
This is a butter gloss, and this is in the shade Angel Food Cake. Cute name. And it's kind of a kind of a little purpley color. The butter glosses are not my favorites, if I'm being honest. I don't like glosses, so I just, I'm, they're not my favorite to get. I would much rather get the lipsticks or the matte lips uh, shades, but it's a really pretty color. It actually probably would do really nicely on top of this one. I'm starting to break into our face. Oh, oh, seven's a good day. Seven's a good day, guys. I would have been excited if I had done this on the seventh. I would have been like, oh, oh, look at this. If I can get it out without, oh my God, I'm gonna break it. I got it, I got it. I'm really struggling here. This is a really pretty glitter shimmer shade. I will say some of the colors that we're getting in these little minis are reminiscent of colors that we have in the palette, which I just happen to have next to me. Um, like not exactly, I don't, wanna, I don't want it to seem like it's like not worth it to get both because I don't think so. But I just am kind of getting like certain, like there's a little bit of a reminiscence of this in like kind of this, this area. Maybe not, maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. I feel like the purple shade also kind of looked like one of the ones that was in there. That's why I said that. They're not duplicates. I don't think they're they're duplicates. They're just similar. They're just the whole vibe. Okay, so this actually was in the last advent calendar I got from NYX. This is the This Is Everything lip oil. I actually really like this product. Um, so what I've done with the past collections is I've actually left the products in the advent calendar and then I just sometimes will grab them and like do looks with them because I like to have the advent, like I said, I keep the advent calendar. With my favorite products though, what I've actually done is like, I've pulled them out and kept them elsewhere. And if I can't, like if it's a product that I can actually label, I'll write what day it is. So if I ever want to put it back in, I can put it back in. This lip oil, I actually used the entirety of um, from the collection I got, I think it was two years ago because I loved it so much. I'm actually really excited that's in there as well. Cause it's a really nice little, um, just like a hydrating product, so. Okay, off camera, I went ahead and opened the next four days. So, uh, so we didn't have to watch me struggle on this. So uh, this is day, that was day eight, this is day nine. Oh, it's, a, it's the same product. That's weird that they would do it two days in a row. It's like, a, I guess, is it a different scent? Are they different colors? They're like slightly different colors, but I, lip oils, I mean, I don't, I didn't normally think that lip oils were colored. Okay, so that one's like a deeper pink. That was day eight was the deeper pink and this is a lighter pink. Oh, and that one's straight up clear. Okay, so that's, this is the, the, the eight was a tinted lip oil. I don't think you can see it cause it's very faint, but it's pink, dark, like a pinky shade here. And then above it is literally just the clear oil. So the clear oil is what I got in the past that I like. Interesting. The fact that they did them two days in a row was interesting to me. That's why I was kind of like, what? All right, we got another liquid illuminator and this is in the day this is in the shade gleam and that was for day 10 and then for day 11 we have another matte lip uh cream and this is in the shade rome which is slightly darker than the original shade i'm gonna put it next to the original shade oh yeah that's really pretty yeah this 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 has more of like a pink or peach shade to it this is definitely more of like a mauve and I really, I love mauve lip shades around this time of year. I go for them anyway, and I really like them um, particularly for winter. Like, cause I just am not like a big red person. So I don't wear red a ton. I do like it, but I would definitely, I feel more comfortable wearing something like that, like a deep purple or a deep red. Day 12. This is the hashtag, this is everything lip loving balm. So it's very similar to the scrub, but I'm guessing this would be something that you could use in like conjunction with the scrub. So after you do it, you put this on top of it's like a moisturizer, really cute. Um, I like that they've added these in. I think it's kind of like a, I'm almost kind of hoping like maybe they're gonna make their way into like skincare or something. So like next year you may see like a couple, like make an eye, like a moisturizer or cream or something like that, which is funny coming from me who used to be like, I hate getting skincare and now 2020 is completely changed my ass. I'm like, skincare, yes, please. All right, moving on to day 13. I have high hopes for day 13 because 13 is my favorite number. So, oh, oh, okay. So this is definitely something they never did in the past. Really cool to see it in here. This is an HD powder, uh, finishing powder. So, and it's a pretty decent size. Great for traveling. Not that anybody's doing that right now, but yeah, really, really nice uh, little product. I, I like that a lot. I think they've done a good job of like adding some new stuff and keeping some of the highlights of their old advent calendars and, and everything. I really like that. This is, I think the, my favorite design that they've ever done. I know one year they did like a Candyland theme and I got that like a kind of like a winter wonderland or something like that. This one I really like though. It's like all glitz and glam and diamonds. 
All right, we have another matte lipstick and this is a very nice neutral shade. Very, very pretty. Um, definitely a good like just to have in your collection type color. That was day 14. Day 15, what we got going on here with day 15. I was like her eye. I felt very weird like digging in to like open that I was like right on. I'm trying to show you guys, this is very complicated. Oh my God, you see it's like, it's like, it's her eye. Her eye is the door. Wild. Anyway. All right, we got another butter gloss and this is like in a lighter shade and it is this one down here, very neutral, really nice color just to kind of go on top of one of the other lip colors that you got. <gasps> oh, 16 is, 16 is a good in y'all. I like the eyeshadows, if you guys can't tell, I get really excited about the eyeshadows. Really pretty glitter copper shade, absolutely love it. And the nice thing about these eyeshadow pans, they're really large, like that's a, I would call, I would call that a full size. I don't know if it is, it could be misleading packaging, but it looks like a damn full size to me. All right, day 17 is another eyeshadow, yay. Very similar to it, once again, very similar. It's so funny that they've done this like two days in a row, they made them very similar. So day 16 was golden bronze, right? It was this baby. And then day 17 was bronzed goddess. So both kind of like a bronzy golden glitter shade, really pretty for both of them, but like almost interchangeable, which is just odd to me that they would put them back to back. I just feel like it would be less noticeable if you didn't put them right back to back, but whatever. I mean, I'm not, who am I? My opinion doesn't really matter that much, but I'm just, I, it's just something to point out. Got another matte lipstick and this is, this is what I would say I gravitate more towards for dark reds. Um, like a kind of deep berry shade. I'd like, I do, I don't get me wrong. I like vibrant reds and I feel like sometimes they really, really work on me personally. But normally I gravitate towards like this. If I'm going towards like a red or a deep sh shade, like that really deep, this is more of a plum color, honestly, like a deep, deep purple. Really, really pretty. I'm very excited about that. And like I said, I there's part of me that thinks like th right now with the house and like us moving is not the right time for me to try and do makeup every day again. Like a, like if this isn't a year where we're just sitting in our house. But I do think that I probably should do what I normally do with this at some point and just like go through and use all of them. Cause what I worry is that I will just like not use them. That's why I always force myself to do it. You know, like I'll use my favorites and then like a couple will get neglected. I, I don't want to do that. Another matte lipstick, really pretty neutral as well for this one. If you guys can see that. And I like, like I said, I like these little lipsticks. They're really nice for traveling. Um, they're definitely not full size, but they're like a nice deluxe sample size. They're, they're, you know, sometimes you get really tiny samples and that's not it at all either. All right, day 20, we got another pretty eyeshadow and this one is rose gold. Kind of still giving me vibes like those coppery ones, but definitely a little bit more red pink, really pretty. I like all of the shades. I'm not surprised that they're all glitter because that's kind of what the whole vibe of this palette is. I would love to see like one or two mattes though, but I mean, what do you expect when you buy a diamond and ice like collection, I guess, you know, that's on me. That's on me wanting things that I shouldn't want from a collection that is not marketing itself that way. Oh, cool. Okay, so day 21, we got a, an HD Studio Photogenic eyeshadow base. So it's an eyeshadow primer. That's really neat. That's another thing like the um, the finishing powder that they've never given us before. So pretty decent size. Um, it, I don't feel like you're gonna get a ton of uses out of it. But once again, this would be something like during traveling, I would really like to have because it's not gonna take up a ton of space, but it would definitely get me through at least a few trips. Day 22, oh, day 22 is a good one. I got another eyeshadow and this is like a very vibrant yellow gold eyeshadow and that is in the shade Antique Gold. And we've got two days left, y'all. Day 23, two days left, day 23. We have another butter gloss. This is in the shade Tiramisu and it's very similar to the other two. It's kind of like an in-between, I would say. I think one was a little bit darker. Oh no, this is actually the darkest. That's it right there. And that was the other, the, the second darkest one. And then the lightest one, the pinker one was this one up here. So I, I look like a little mosaic, look at me. Okay, and our final day, day 24. <gasps> okay, I really like this one actually. Uh, it's, a poor, it's a poor filling primer. And I actually have this in the large size. It's one of my go-to primers um, for like an affordable primer. I really like it. And I think it's a really good way to end the advent calendar. Overall, I really like this collection. Um, I think that they, th the thing I love about this advent calendar every year, this particular one, 
is I feel like they are completely evolving with it every year. Um, there was only one year where I feel like that like whatever they they did for it, it just wasn't that different from the year before and so I didn't buy it. But other than that, every time I see the collection, I'm like, I really like it. And yeah, I'm really happy. I knew this was going to be a variety of eyeshadows and, and lip glosses and stuff like that. Um, some of the other stuff I wasn't expecting, so I'm excited to see that. Like I said, $55, I don't think I ever would pay full price for it, but um, I know now on Cyber Monday, it's on sale at Ulta for like maybe 35 or something like that. And I paid $27.50 for it on Black Friday. And I think that they'll continue you to put it on sale. So I would definitely say check it out. This is our this is our bad boy all opened and everything. And that's what it looks like. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope I did okay with unboxing an advent calendar. It was very odd. Um, I do know there's a couple other advent calendars. Uh, Makeup Revolution did one and I really wanted it. Um, but it's only, it was only available on their website. And then by the time I remembered to go look for it, it was sold out. So I will try and get one if I possibly can. I don't think it's going to happen, but yeah. Let me know if you guys liked it. It was, it was interesting. It was fun. Um, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.